Welcome back to the garden. Today is October 9th and today I will be doing my final harvest. Unfortunately, the weather is turning out to be um, winter is upon us, or should I say fall is upon us. So we have, we're going to harvest what we can in terms of the peppers mostly going to be peppers harvest all those that are mature enough to be picked and leave the immature ones on the plants to see if they will uh, weather the storm so to speak to see if they'll survive as we are uh, approaching temperatures in the nighttime going down to 37 degrees and peppers do not like to be less than uh, 50 degrees so I'm going to go ahead and um, harvest everything out and I am going to try to take you along as much as I can and of course I will show you whatever we harvest at the end. See you then. So we're going to start over here by the Rowena peppers. What we have. I'm going to be taking off all of them that's big enough. These pe this pepper actually has very thick walls. So, they will do, taking them all off. It's best I ha harvest them and be able to use them and uh, leave them out here to be frostbitten or anything like that. Quite a few green ones. I mean, this pepper was producing like crazy. Lots and lots of peppers. Let me see what else we have here. This is a green Rowena. Looks like it's blushing a little bit which is good. That means it will ripen on the counter. Another Rowena on the smaller side. I do not run into anything unpleasant in here. Like these smaller ones, I'm going to leave to see if they will survive the colder temperature. If they survive the next few nights, then we have a couple more days that they can stay on the plant and mature a little bit more before the first frost date. I think, think I've gotten just about all of the Lisa. I don't know if I should leave these on. Well, I guess not with that one. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Wow, the Lisa Pepper extend all the way over here. Here's another branch. There's one that's at a good size. I am over here by the giant Marconi. I'm gonna pick all of these. Well, most of these, some of these are too young. Well, this one, I'm gonna leave it on. This one I'm picking. It's not quite mature enough, but it's big enough to be picked.
There's another giant Marconi that I am getting off the plant. Here it is. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, look at this one. And this one is blushing too. This one is blushing. That is fantastic. There's another one. Giant Marconi. Also blushing. Let's see what else we can find. As I indicated, this is my last major pepper harvest. Another giant Marconi blushing. There's one. Not blushing, but it's ready. It's mature enough to be harvested. All right. Okay, here's this one. Here's this one. Okay, great. Three nice size ones of the giant Marconi. I have a helper, but the helper seems to be doing something else. Okay, I thought I saw another. Yeah, there it is. Another giant Marconi to be picked here. Not another one down here. It's on a smaller side, but I'm gonna pick it anyway. All right, I'm gonna have my helper come in and uh, assist with picking the poblanos over there because uh, I'm I don't want to I don't want to want to touch that plant. I saw a S N A K E over there in that plant the other day. Got me a little bit on the jittery side, so. He's going to pick. Ooh, it's a nice sized giant Marconi. Oh, look. I almost missed this one down here. This giant Marconi. Look at this one. Nice size. Yeah. And I just saw, I don't know what I was looking at, but I just saw where some someone dehydrated a lot of their sweet peppers and make a powder out of it. I think I might actually do that. Or my giant Marconi. We're going to work on the Pablanos and we'll show you what we get with the Pablanos in a couple of moments. Okay, so I am over by the other pepper bed um, and I've lost my helper. So I am going to have to try to do this on my own. Of course, we already filled up one basket of peppers and there's plenty more to be harvested over here. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna take out this giant Marconi right here. It's a giant Marconi. It's huge, 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 huge. Let's see what else is here. A couple of Edgeversky on the immature side, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna harvest them anyway. Them in the basket and then let's see what else another giant marconi and a little story in this giant marconi in this bed this is um these plants are from seeds that i had um 
I've had for a few years. I had uh, purchased a plant at the garden center a few years ago, and it was labeled roasting peppers. Of course, I, I like the pepper so much, I saved the seeds, but I never knew the proper name. So I, every time I planted, I labeled it as a roasting pepper. Until this year, I had bought uh, some seeds from one of the seed companies, and when I noticed the growth habit and uh, how the plant, how the peppers were came out, they looked just like the ones that I was labeling roasting peppers. So I concluded that what I've been planting and calling roasting pepper all these years is the giant Marconi. So, yeah, pretty psyched about that. Let me see what else is here on this one. Quite a few. Oh, I have to go on the other side. Seems like there's a lot more on the other side. But let's just make sure. Oh, there's a nice big one in here. Look at this. Look at this one. Nice. Nice big one. Look at that. Of course, it's rather difficult to harvest with one hand. Okay, so. I apologize in advance for any shaking of the camera. All right. Let me go over on the other side, show you what's there, and then I'll just harvest it and bring it back for the final results. But before I do that, let's see if there's anything on this edge versky no of course take a look at the celosia you know i have to throw you all the celosia every time this is the jalapeno megatron they're not quite mature but i'm gonna get them anyway and of course there is some scotch bonnet that i'm gonna harvest and let's see what else is down here in terms of the scotch bonnet. There's one that's right there that's blushing. This one is blushing. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what else we have. And then, like I said, I'll harvest them and show you everything. Because as it is right now, I am losing the light. And I want to make sure that I harvest all of these today. Because mother nature is not cooperating with the temperature for tonight this is a poblano there, there it is there's a poblano i'm gonna harvest those and everything in this bin some over there i'm gonna harvest okay so this is the harvest of the peppers for October 9th, 2024. We have the Lisa pepper, some scotch bonnet, a few cayenne, a few jalapeno, some poblano, this doesn't belong here. That's a Lisa pepper. Did I say poblano? Some poblano. A whole bunch of the roasting pepper slash giant Marconi type peppers. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic? Look at all this pepper. And I forgot to mention the Anaheim, a few Anaheim peppers, as well as a couple of Rowena and California Wonderbell. I think I have one Cali Wonderbell there, maybe two, but the rest of them are Rowenas. I'm going to leave out some of them that's close to, that are mature enough and are close to blushing. I'm going to leave them on the counter to ripen and, um, Probably make some more, uh, some some of the powder, the uh, powder blend of peppers for seasoning. 
and the rest of it i am going to do some stuffed peppers as well as um do the cut them up and put them in the freezer for use over the winter so thank you for joining me today as i do basically what's my final pepper harvest for the 2024 garden season until next time bye for now